May I now request our chairperson, Dr. B.K. Sahu, to please share his thoughts with all of us. Good evening. Revered uh, parents, grandparents, guests, and my dear friends. At the outset, let me request you for one thing. You know, don't be miser in clapping. You know, that will encourage all the students and also encourage us and also keep you awake, you know, little bit of exercise. So let's have a practice. Can you have a little louder? I think those, those, those who are sitting on the, on the balcony, I think, they, I think they, they are not clapping. Can you please? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I assure you that I will not take uh, more time because I know I am equally eager as all of you are to see our children perform. However, it is my duty to tell you a little bit on a macro, you know, what we are trying to do in this uh, school. Before I start, let me, on all our behalf, invoke the blessings of Sri Sai to bless us all. Uh, I think uh, six years is not a big time, big period of time for all that you saw that the school could achieve be it is a position in the country or internationally known or the children going into the top national and international universities or getting accolades in the national and international competitions or be it be getting into their professional uh, courses. I feel, I don't know how much you feel, I feel the prime responsibility or the people who actually should get major portion or the credit for all this is all of you. So please give a big hand to all the parents sitting here. I have a reason why I am saying so. This is because unless you would have reposed confidence in us being a new school, unless you would have that faith and trust in us, and unless you would have believed the methodology that we have adopted in grooming our children, it would not have been possible probably to achieve what we have achieved. And you will be happy that today Science International School is a model which has got the accolade as the fastest grown school by CNBC. Also, these so-called top educational bodies of our country, including the NPSC chairman and all, are visiting SAI to see what is that is extra in SAI. And I always tell that which is extra in SAI is the connect between the school and the parents. And this single connect of parent involvement in our school makes the school really, really vibrant. Again, you know, thank you all parents for such a wonderful opportunity given to us. Before launching this school, we did uh, 10 years of research, as I have been every time telling you all. Continuously also we are doing this research. Let me tell you that four out of five children of today will not be pursuing the course that you are thinking that they will pursue 10 or 15 years ahead. So what we should do? We should prepare them for a course which they are not supposed to pursue. In 2000, probably, iPad was not launched. Facebook was not operational. Google was just a search engine. Amazon was just selling uh, books. But what we are seeing today, there's a paradigm shift in the intervention of knowledge and information into the schooling system. There is a challenge in this also. The challenge is that the student of today is being taught by teachers of yesterday on a career of tomorrow. See the paradox. A student of today 
being taught by a teacher of yesterday on a career of tomorrow. And unless we understand this matrix, it will be extremely difficult to face the challenges. I'll show you a little bit of, uh, you know, next two minutes probably of some of the research which will make you understand what we are trying to do and probably that with that I'll end because I am equally waiting for all our Oscar winner stars here who are the world's best. I believe all our 540 children who are going to perform here are the best in the world. You have already got a glimpse of them, but once today you see they perform, you'll understand what a transformation has taken place in them in these two, three years. Now, this is what Harvard says. And this, mind you, is relevant for all our parents of this age group. This is the human brain development. We says that, you know, between one year, one month to 12 months, in one year, the spike, the bell curve of the sensory, the language and the cognitive development is the highest. And slowly it drops towards age two, three, four, five, and the cognitive slowly drops towards the age 12 and 13. Unless we understand this phenomena and where exactly we need to intervene with the child so that the overall development of the child, the holistic development of the child and the brain development of the child can take place, it will be just mechanical intervention which many of the schools do by just giving the books to read or the mothers to read and you know answer the copy or answer the answer sheets or give the exams and get some marks. There is no true intervention to see that there is development of the brain which ultimately affects the future of the child. So the crucial period is again one year to seven year. So in our school and the school that we are making, which is again unique in the country that's being planned, which will be launched next year, we are taking care of all this proven track, proven research work, proven methodology of the world. Gone are those days when parents especially, you know, my request, sincere request to all the parents sitting here, don't think that if the child is not overloaded with books, not overloaded with a lot of home assignment, not lo loaded with 500 times writing A, 1000 times writing 1 to 100, the intelligence of child is going to go down. No, you are wrong. That's not the way the child of today will learn. And that's not the way the child of today is going to be a global citizen. The child of today is not for redundancy. The child of today is the futuristic child. And we should understand that child will not read the way I did or the, I did my schooling in my school days or you did your schooling in your school days. We have to understand the paradigm shift in the education that has taken place. Many of you would have seen our classrooms. Our classroom is actually a complex situation wherein we take all these multiple skills. I request all parents, you know, to spend at least one day in the school to understand how these multiple skills are being, because if I start explaining, probably it will take a lot of time, but we take care of each skill development of the child so that the brain development of the child is 360 degree. None of the skills of the child is not attended to. Then only the child will develop as a wholesome child. With this, we have our own research, which is Vibgyor, where through these colors, through the activities, we have developed our approach of these developments. Again, it will take time, may I request, you know, whenever you, you have time, go to our Sai Angan website and go through how we have developed this and what a miraculous development it's showing on the overall attitude and capability of the child. Yes, this is how the brain of the child develops because of the multiple intelligence and because of the spectrum uh, principle that we have followed. 
and which is extremely again crucial uh, in this. The center of activity is the child to do lots and lots of activities and through these activities to learn, to connect with the global world virtually and face to face whenever we are getting people from outside. However, there are two components which are extremely crucial and here comes my request. One component we are taking care is the school and the teachers. The other component is the parents. All the mothers sitting here, each time I tell this, and again at the cost of repetition I'm telling this, all the mothers here will agree with me that perforce they spend a lot of time with their children. But that's not complete. My request especially is to all the fathers, because I am a father, I, I know the outcome of it. Especially to all the fathers, please spend at least one hour. You cannot be so busy that you will not be able to find one hour every day to spend with a child. Start spending one hour with a child every day and see the impact of it. See the holistic development of the child that's taking place because the values not only comes from the school but also comes from the family and the involvement of father is extremely, extremely, extremely crucial for us. May I request once again that let's build a good school community. Let's build Science and School as one of the top schools of not only in India but also known across. But this is only possible with all your support that you have been giving in the last six years and I'm sure you'll be giving in the future years. The extra that I request to all of you with folding hands is from today, please spend at least one hour with your child. With these words, once again, thanking you all for giving us this opportunity. To <laughs> but again, another request, please clap louder than this for my children. Thank you.